Welcome to Table Talk. This is a show where we uh, take your topics from hashtag Table Talk or the subreddit r slash SourceFed, and we talk about them. I'm Trisha Hirschberg. I'm Philip Franco. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm going to pick a topic. Get it. I'm going. You get it from that bowl. I like to mix it up. <laughs> Zach says, physical media versus digital media, what's your favorite collection you have of either? Oh, I know what you're going to say. So you're a physical oh, yeah. guy, right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got to. I'm, I'm kind of like, I like when people come into my nerd cave and they see like my cool collection of movies. Right. Like I like to show it off. I don't want to be like, dude, check out this hard drive. I've got over 17,000 movies on here. And right. it's like, who, who But I think cares? people are more willing to go like, <laughs> look at my digital collection for music. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But I also, um, God, this is going to sound like the most hipstery thing. Go for it. Life, but I also collect uh, <laughs> You already records. sounded like it. I know. Oh. Right? Hey, I collect records. Records yeah. are cool. Um, I always have. You've and, got a, uh, a shoulder rub from Phil Well, Farm. But there's also, you could talk about audio quality as well. Dude, and it is. Yeah. And, and a lot of people kind of overlook it, but mm-hmm. the quality is fantastic. There's nothing better than listening to like a first pressing of something and right. listening to it through some yeah. speakers. Even though it's like maybe just stereo and not like surround sound or whatever, and the quality mm-hmm. is like, if it depends on your system. Now, right. I, I don't know a lot about that, but digital music is always compressed, so you lose yeah, out on quality, yeah. right? There is uncompressed stuff, too. It's about AAC? Yeah, and yeah. like FLAC also, okay. but um, I don't know. Uh, you know, you, you've got your file size issues once you get there, though. But I don't know. I mean, now you get 19 terabyte hard drives yeah, and I mean, it gives a shit. For the most part, uh, if, if you get AAC, I can really only ever hear the difference if I have, like, really good Yeah, studio yeah, that's headphones. the thing. But then it's, like, full, full sound. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I, uh, I'm personally, a lot of people say they do like that. Yeah. Actually, you'd be surprised how many people I think are in your corner. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it because I just... I'm the guy that puts DVDs back in the wrong case, and I'm like looking for five hours. I'm like, whether it's a movie or I'm like, where's Assassin's Creed Three? I should have installed it. I should have just downloaded it. Why did I do that? And yeah, I don't know. I uh, I, but, I don't know. But then you think about the hard drive space. Like for consoles, it's mm-hmm. kind of different because like you have a limited hard drive space. So I guess you could switch out the hard drives. Like on you can switch out like the hard drive. But like I don't really want to do that. I want to buy my system. And uh, like my my console, and if I can have my physical media for my for my games, right. and then all of my DLC and add-ons for my hard right. drive, then I'm better than like keeping full games on there. You know? Yeah, I just yeah, I just download. I keep everything on a cloud, and then if I'm like okay, if I'm yeah. gonna go like when I went to New York and Florida, I was like okay, I'm gonna I might not even watch anything. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna download nine movies that were from the cloud. Uh, I do it here at work because we have a better connection, uh, and so it's like that. And then it's there. It's it's magic. That's nice. I do like that. You're right. That's but cool. al- but also there is something to be said about cred or just like yeah, having your something. It's because, the show offy. But also yeah. because people say, well, do you own something that's digital, or have you just licensed the right to well, watch it? And what was that whole thing with like you can't bequest it to your children? Right. Yeah. See, that's the thing. My father-in-law just passed away, and he had this massive record record collection that um that went to three kids, mm. and so Sarah got like, and it's just insane. Like carrying it up into our condo. That's amazing. It's dude. like it's cool to have like the stuff that he collected, yeah. but like vinyl is the heaviest shit in the world mm-hmm. when you gather it up. I think I think what would kill real life media. I think that that, that it'll, the physical will always be there. Mm-hmm. If you if Amazon can properly have a secondary market place, I think, then there's potential. Yeah, yeah. Potential. But, yeah, yeah that's where I'm at. Mm. I just always like the physical so that, like, people can come into your house and, like, whether it's it's books, music, video games, movies, whatever, they can be like, oh, you read this? That's mm. cool. Yeah. Or yeah. it just, it's it's like a personality fun thing yeah. for me to have all that's my true. stuff That's true. Like, around. I want to see, like, Sarah always talks about how she wants, like, a library at some point where she yeah. has all of her books, like, stacked up super yeah, high. Yeah, that's good. It's for like, me, it's books. That's really nice, doesn't it? Like, to, cool. to come in and have your collection, like, mm, I'm going to pick up this yeah. book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Extra. <laughs> Let's see, we got Nick at Be Quick or Be Dead saying most desired superpower and why. Most desired superpower. I don't know, it's talking about flying, but flying's so boring. At Hero this from Heroes, that's all. Hero is awesome, dude. I feel that like we've cool. covered this, so I better grab another one. I'd be Cyclops. Yeah. So you'd be Cyclops? Really? You could never look at someone with your own eyes. I, but conversely, I could look at someone with my own eyes, and you did. Mm, actually, I, I had the very unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I was watching FX randomly because I was in Florida with my dad, and uh, he has like something that doesn't have on demand. And X Men Three came on, <laughs> and, I was, and, and I thought to myself, Steve would break this TV. Yeah, I absolutely would. Here. Also, was motion flow on or off? It was, was off. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Steve I think I would have no. found my way over there, having not known where your dad lives. He's drawn and broken to it. through the window. Why is motion flow on? <laughs> I'm turning that shit off. I Have just, a good day. I would just, all I did was I like watched uh, I'm the Juggernaut bitch and then I'd rewind it. Oh, God. I, <laughs> I was like, 
It's like it's like a, a GIF. Yeah. On the TV. Which which would you say is worse, that X Men or um, Batman with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Batman oh. Forever is that yeah, Forever Batman. or Batman and Robin? I don't Forever's know. Forever is with one, Riddler, I think. Yeah, but that that, that one was good. Riddler. No, I mean the one with Mr. Mr. Freeze. With Mr. Freeze. Arnold cool out. What does he say? Chill out. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. You know what? Honestly, There's that one part where he closes up on his face and he has like one tear that comes down and then freezes right here. And I was like, oh, yeah. really? Come Joel on. Joel Schumacher. Uh, but no, I honestly think that's worse than uh, than uh, <laughs> X-Men 3. No, X-Men 3, I think if you try to enjoy <laughs> yeah. it, you're like, oh, okay, I don't hate you this. You know what, man? I'm going to get so much shit for this. But uh, you know how everybody hates that Wolverine movie? Oh, the first one. I didn't hate it. I like it. it. No, I actually, I, like I get crap for it because I didn't like it. I thought it was a really bad, See, the second no one actually way, looks you get interesting. No, everybody like doesn't it. like it. Yes. Everyone hates it. So yeah. everyone hates it, but the people that love it are really, really vocal. And but here's see, the deal. Hugh I Jackman is the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it, it's just yeah. it was a combined effort, I yeah. think, to make that movie shit. Well, also, I liked Deadpool it. was just fucked. Basically, okay. fucked. If you get, uh, I've said this in videos like two years ago. Hmm. If you get Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> and he is fucking hilarious with the two lines you gave him, uh, and then for the rest of the movie, he's just not able to talk. I know. <laughs> okay, I know. But I wonder if they filmed a bunch of scenes with him that were supposed to be serious, and then they just had to cut them all out because well, they were Deadpool's funny and inappropriate. Fucking, times. He's hilarious in the comics, and so you kind oh, really? of figure so that would make sense. Yeah. But like, yeah, they just fucked up the character so bad. That's the worst part about the movie. But other than that, I was like, it's like I'm reading. This is the thing with all comic book movies. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I feel like I'm reading a comic book mm -hmm. while I'm watching it, then it's served then its, its purpose. Then it's done its job. Then it's done its yes. job. Because it's like, I, I, I love those comics. They're cheesy as fuck. You can pick up any random... X Men comic and read through it, and you'd be right. like, "Oh my god, that was cheesy as fuck." But, but you oh, loved, I loved it. it. That's yeah. how I feel about just, most superheroes. Just that last, right. that last scene in X Three where he's like, and "I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck this movie." <laughs> well, they killed off Professor Xavier, right? In that one, was that the one where they killed off Professor X? Um, uh, maybe. I think it is. It's I can't either remember. two or three. But I can't remember. I, I was like, literally, it was just like passively watching yeah. it. Yeah, I was like, that's the only way to watch it. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We have Steven. Actually, you have. You have. Okay. Sorry. Said, um, I didn't think that was going to be a real one because we've answered it before. I know. Okay. We kind of we kind of. Stephen Motes at This Is Step says, "What would you do with one day left to live in all the money in the world?" Hashtag Table Talk. I don't know, table talk. man. I think the all the money in the world. You'd have to. You'd have to like. <laughs> I don't think, know if that would necessarily matter. At all, right? The, the no, it totally world. would, though, because if you're like, I would build a jet and fly to, like, then you need all the money. In the well, world. I'm gonna do. Even though it's your last day. In 24 hours, though. See, you gotta you. <laughs> oh, that's true. You gotta do something that is going to either make a huge message, like give a huge message to the world. So do something either really fucked oh, up or really amazing. Oh, you're such a better person than or, me. I was like, I'm just gonna do shit for me. I didn't even think see, about leaving a but message. But you can also leave a message and do something for you because you kind of have that mm -hmm. notoriety afterwards. Okay. You're like, oh man, that was the girl who died and she did that fucked up crazy thing and she helped the world or something so you gotta do some sort of big like anonymous type <laughs> crazy out with a bang type thing okay. out with a bang what yeah like uh, I don't know crash down the stock market or something do something like fucking crazy or if something. it's the last day on the planet like unless you're the only person that knows yeah no one's gonna care about money. See, that's the thing. If you're, well, that's yeah. true. Well, that's it's true. your last day to live, so you have one oh, day to live. Oh, it's your it last day. Yeah, it oh. says it says you have one day to live and all the money in the oh, world. Oh, so massive what difference. Yeah, 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 my, yeah, my yeah. line wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, not the world ending. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was saying do like a stock market, like do a big crazy world changing thing. I, I, like, I like that yours is negative. <laughs> I would just fuck up everybody's and like, screw lives. the economy. But I would only fuck the super rich people so that the middle <laughs> class could be like, fuck yeah, this guy was a middle middle class hero or something. There are a lot of people oh. in the middle class that have money in the stock market. I don't I have guess money in true. the stock market because mm. it confuses me. <laughs> but that's me. Yeah, jeez, I don't know. One, I, I feel like mine would be like, I don't know, I'd want to like, Go to Disney World. For, like, it wouldn't be the Boring. most insane thing ever. You'd be like, I want to go to Disney World and see the light show. Right. I'd have to tell them Trisha. I only had one day left so I could get on every ride first because I don't want to wait in line for right, my last 24 second. hours. And then I'd cuddle a baby. <laughs> cuddle a baby? Mm-hmm. All right, hold on. Pretend and then, like, and that would be great. Pretend like the camera isn't rolling. <laughs> no, I am. I'm being I feel like I feel like Trisha's would be, like, weird and dark. I think so, too. Weird, dark, and sexy. Yeah. I mean, I would probably have killer sex. Yeah, you'd have to. But you'd be my last day. Then you'd that's have gotta to. fit in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but would you go and seek out someone that was like, that was the person I wanted to have oh, sex with? Oh, that's a whole new thing that I Because you got think all about. the money, dude. Oh, so it, well, this someone would have to accept payment. We'll see. No, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but, but, or have a heart, because you could say, this is my last day on earth. Like, I'm gonna die. So, 
I've always wanted to have sex with you. That's, that's, that's the weirdest make a wish. <laughs> weirdest make a wish ever. <laughs> Please. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to die. The worst part I, is I when need I think you about to get up in there, please. But the worst part is when I think about Big Wish, I think about like a nine year old or like a ten year old. No, How that, dare and, you and, put and that Trisha, in my head? And Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> Who just said, I need you to get up in there. <laughs> Words know. that you would never think that Trisha would say. Well, I need you to get up in there. It happens. Everybody, everybody needs sexy time. Ryan Gosling? No. What? Elijah Wood? I don't know why. Well, I, maybe. I, I take. What the f? What is happening? <laughs> What is happening? Like, I like Wilfred, but no. Frodo. No. That's where it's coming from. Like, Elijah oh. Wood dressed as Frodo. Ooh, the feet. I don't know. You the, feet. the feet. The feet? Can you no. do the feet? No, 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 no. Trisha's doing weird st- foot stuff with. No, Frodo. no. Because, like, you said you're. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like that the visual just. It was like, it hit me. Because uh, you said you kinda, you're kind you into, like, the Clark Kent kind of. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I'm nerdy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who's, like, a good nerdy, like, uh. See, well, I actually like a don't Chris Hardwick that, or something. I don't feel like you're actually pandering. I feel like that's a legit thing. No, it that, totally no, that's is. That's a legit thing. It totally because is. Because I, w- I was picked on too much in high school to ever go for like the popular studly guy. I'm like, mm. and it's it's horrible of me because I'm sure it's not true that every guy that's charismatic and good looking is an asshole. But in my head, they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, in my that's... head, like I meet somebody that's charismatic and good looking or like a bodybuilder or like whatever, and I'm like, oh nope, you're a dick. Well, it's kind of like and when I'm you're not the... into it. So but, there you if, go. but if you prove me wrong. Wrong, then great. So there you go. You just have to be shy and ugly. <laughs> Trisha wants See, it. See, that's the thing. Like, w- on the other side of the coin, though, there's the dudes that, like, were picked on in high school, were super unpopular, and they know all of the really pretty girls are just, like, bitches that don't want anything right, to do exactly. with Right, exactly. So that's, I mean, I know that that's a horrible yeah. first impression, like, first yeah. judgment, judge a book by its cover But thing. unfortunately, because we were treated like shit in high school, you assholes, we had this kind <laughs> of, like, seed well, that you planted in our head that I'm all like, attracted people oh, you look people like that assholes. dude that shoved me in a locker in fifth yeah, grade. Exactly. No, I don't yeah. want to get naked with you. You don't get yeah. these Goods, hell no. You look like that bitch that fucking pulled up my underwear and you're like, fuck you, pussy, and kick my ass. That didn't happen. What are you doing? <laughs> what is happening at this table it's right now? It's nerd rage. You're I in the it. middle of complete it nerd, nerd rage. rage. It no. is nerd rage. Okay, don't I'm make fun of me for dog. having gaming club after school. Yeah, and don't Whatever. make fun of me for wearing fake teeth and doing sermons in the middle of class. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you talking I about? I almost just spit my coffee all over the table. All right, Jordan Thompson asks, do you think comic book-based movies are getting grittier? Or, I'm sorry, do you think comic book-based movies getting grittier is a good or bad thing? Um, well, okay, so uh, I watched Iron Man 3. Yeah. I know you guys did as well. Uh-huh. I loved it, and a lot, of pe- a lot of people that didn't like it said that it was too funny for uh, a third movie. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Or, like, even a final, a potentially final Iron Man movie. Potential, Robert, yeah, final. At least for Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, but I mean, I th- I liked it. Like, I, yeah. yeah, it was easily the funniest one, and it wasn't as gritty, and even, like, the gritty things yeah. were kind of, I don't know, it, w- it wasn't too bad. Like, the anxiety stuff yeah. was really comical, and, yeah. it, and it, even in, like, a dark humor sort of mm-hmm. way. But, I mean, someone asked me uh, Iron Man trilogy or Dark Knight, and I was like, Dark Knight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. B- yeah. Which is a grittier movie. Which is grittier. Yeah, and I guess it's that thing about, like, comedy and, and, and uh, action and drama, I guess. Because, I mean, you take the character of Batman, and mm. you kind of already, he's synonymous with that drama and that psychological right. kind mm-hmm. of, like, torment. And then you've got Iron Man, who is, like, I get not, uh, not necessarily funny, but he, but uh, Tony Stark does have that kind of playboy, oh, yeah. like, I'm a rich guy mm-hmm. kind of thing going on. But, like, when you take the movie franchises, yeah, you definitely kind of have a more comedy comical series with Iron Man. I guess there's no contest there, but I do enjoy the darker edge. Like, I I don't want my movie to be Fantastic Four bubblegum bullshit, you know? (laughs) I don't want that. I want it to have, like, a little punch. Like, Iron Man is fucking killing people in Iron Man 3. He's just fully gun blasting people. I was thinking about that. I was like, Batman doesn't kill people. And, and you don't really see the other superheroes like fully murder people, but Iron Man, Tony Stark is murdering people. Well, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Tony Stark is like a real dude, so you believe when he's yeah. being yeah. shot at that he's going to yeah. shoot back. Like, and I just love how, like, I, I don't know, the character's so... I talk about how much I fucking love Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. and just the character, and, like, as soon as Robert Downey Jr. is done with Iron Man, I think I'm done with Iron Man. I don't okay. even want to see another Tony Stark, honestly. It would be, it would be hard it's to see so someone do it. It's so fucking hard, yeah. Especially because he's just got those quips. He's so, like, quick. Yeah. His like, timing is wonderful. Perfect. Yeah, it's wonderful. Mm, like yeah. I, I, you can't even describe it. I don't know. I think it's good that Hollywood kind of pendulum swings with it. Yeah. Like you'll get a really kind of funny comic booky movie, and then a couple real gritty, and then a couple yeah. funny, and then a couple gritty, and it's good because then there's something out there for. I everybody. just wonder if I'll be I able to enjoy it. I don't know if I'll be able to enjoy it anymore. Like if I when I go back and I look at like the kind of like. 
poppy comic book stuff. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I like, I don't. I'm, I know. I, I think the reason I like gritty, I, it could be that just people in general are more cynical these days. But I think that it it has a firmer grasp of reality, even though. Yeah, like, we don't want to be pandered to. We don't live to. in a world with yeah. Iron Man. <laughs> exactly. You're right. Like I think Spider Man. Did you see the Amazing Spider Man? Yeah. The new one. I thought it was good, but I thought it tried to be too gritty. When you've got the Peter Parker character, that's mm. just kind of a teenager, and he Peter Parker. He'd be my last. Day. That's your bang, Peter Parker. Peter so Parker. would it be Andrew Garfield, or would it be? Uh, Fucking what's his name? Who was the original Spider-Man? Tobey Maguire. Maguire. I think Tobey Maguire is a way better Peter Parker. Okay. No, I don't like that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is, is uh, even after the third one. No, no. no I, I don't <laughs> emo mean, Spider-Man. Yeah. I don't mean. I, I mean his type is a way better okay. Peter Parker type. I'm not saying his portrayal of, yeah. but like his type. In the S- I think captures the essence. The better. essence of Spider. Of Peter well, Parker. The say, essence though, of Peter Parker. Serious like, shit, people. When we were kids, there were kids <laughs> movies that weren't pandering to kids. Like you had something like Goonies, where Goonies, it was like yeah. it was fun. It was for the whole family, but it was also scary as shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. And there was like a real danger that these kids could maybe die. You know, and you're thinking that. That makes us, it's not pandering to kids. It's, it's, it's kind of like we grow up as adults and we think, man, I watched The Dark Crystal or Return to Oz when I was a kid. And you watch it now and you're like, that shit's fucked up, man. That fucked up it. my head, basically, when really? I was a kid. I, yeah, because it's so dark and gritty and yeah. fucked up. And then we had this huge, there was actually an article today that said, are, are um, we losing the grittiness and the evil, or the, the evil, but are we losing the grittiness of films to like this Pixarification? That's, I don't think it's pandering to kids. I think it's pandering to parents. Hmm. Because back in the day, you know, they're doing these things where, yes, people could die. And then you have all these associations of, Mm. like, censorship and parents that are like, no, 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 my children can't see this violence. So then all of a sudden, if they're making movies and they want more people to watch them, they have to pander to that. I guess so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is the parents that are just like, oh, I could watch that shit. But it's like, if I was a parent, no, I goddamn would. I would would just think, like... Wait, is that to not have kids? Not have kids. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Not against, not con, truck, and gun. I'm gonna break this table. Uh, but what oh my, I, my thing is, is like, uh, like that's a whole issue. But my thing is like, that's a whole other table talk, Steve. Psychological disorder. Uh, but the thing is, is like, I I don't give a fuck. Like my there's the, the, your kids are gonna be uh, your kids are gonna be watching this shit mm-hmm. eventually. You know, Batman, Dark Knight, shit like that. And it's like, I don't think we. I, I think the movies getting grittier is a great way for these things to move on. Because you know what? If you're a parent, let your kid watch the movie or don't let him watch the movie. Keep him away from that Well, I mean, if you want to talk about a gritty... Pixar movie. I mean, I think you look at like a movie like Up. Yeah, right? Up was that's... like not pandering at all. Love Up's Up. like, hey, what's yeah. up? Everyone's gonna cry in the first yeah. five minutes. Yeah, same thing yeah. with Finding Nemo. Yeah, well, yeah, it was like this is life. Yeah. Also, f- nice things. Yeah, but... you're right. I I love Up for that reason. That yeah. it definitely is like it's for everybody. It isn't just kind of like this pandering. But I guess Disney's kind of doing that more now too. Like, did you see um. What's that fucking movie called? Uh, but Brave. Did you see Brave? I haven't watched it yet, no. Brave was actually really good. And I'm the it, only it, person in the world that didn't like it. Why? Why didn't you like it? Didn't like it's got such a great message. Don't be a fucking bitch to your mom, because your mom loves you. <laughs> and your mom <laughs> No, is... I mean, and I get that that's the message, but, like, it's, I don't know. There's way better messages. Really? Like, yes. But obey your parents. Your We've got that this. Is, that was, like, can't, checked off years ago. Just because, like, one thing, like, that's like, I can't believe you're donating all that money to this research when there's this other <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm not saying, I'm not totally saying don't obey your mom or that that's a bad message. I just, I don't know, the movie for me, the whole but, thing was like, meh. But consider why, this. Why was it about that when it could have been about cancer? <laughs> but Help like, okay, cancer. that's true, that's a good obey, point. That obey your mom doesn't make me want to, like, well up and tear on but, the okay, okay. But let's as opposed show. to, like, up where it's like your whole life is But, okay, let, every moment. consider these two points here. Number one, I don't think Disney's ever gone there. Respect your mom. Uh, I don't think they really have. I don't think there's been another movie where they're like, your mom is like there for you, just like your dad is. Although evil there are many dads over there. Yeah, evil stepmother. Think. Yeah, and then like they're. King I Triton. Know. Oh my nose. Well, Triton was the dad. I'm talking about the mom. So and and think of this other point. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> snot in your hand. No, it just itchy. He was like, oh my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then look his nose. Oh. It's all that cocaine <laughs> we do before table talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what's actually in the bowl. Yeah, God, it's cocaine. Yeah. Um, but the other point is, is um, back to Disney. You, look, you've every... never, okay, really fast. You've never had that where there's like something in your nose and then you like breathe in and then it feels like your eyes being stabbed. That's just me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is that a sinus thing? No, I mean, I, I, you have something in your nose and it kind of goes. And it's like whenever gotta, I like, travel. Whenever I travel, my sinus uh, It's like oh, the pressure okay. of the cabin or anyway, something. I just derailed everything. Okay, so this is the other point I wanted to make. Um, 
e- almost every little girl, or almost <laughs> that's gonna sound really strange. <laughs> almost every girl I've met yeah. talks girl. about when they were little girls, how okay. how they like went through that whole "I hate you, mom." Oh, bullshit. everybody does, but yeah. yeah. And I that, and, and I don't think any movie has really kind of taken that "I hate you, mom" bullshit and literally just slapped the little bitch in the face and said, "Look at this, <laughs> like look at this shit. This is." I'm just shocked you don't want to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen to how good of a father Steven Zarago is. I'm already a kid, basically. I don't want to. I don't want to have a me running around that's gonna make fart sounds and pull his pants down. Not, you know what? I'm not gonna join everyone else. If you don't think that you would, you should be a father, I think that you should not be a father. I think. <laughs> yeah. I think your you, small Phil. child will be pants off all the time running around the house. Like I can just yeah. see it, and I can see you being the parent that's like encouraging it. I all would the encourage time. it in public for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I would be a pants that's down, not good. Steve Jr. I don't want to see what product I, I would just, come out I of I just that. imagine like you and your kid both having like an inhaler and suffering from anxiety <laughs> exactly, together. Exactly. I need someone to pussy out on this plane with me. So it would happen. I think that brings us to the question of this video. <laughs> Will you have babies with Steve Zarago? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, also, uh, do you like that the, the movies are going more gritty or you think that it should be comic booky or it, it, it could all live together? Yeah. So happy together. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's close would it out. Would you bone Frodo with or without the feet? I don't. I don't get that. I just don't. You don't get like the that. foot thing? It makes them kind of like like otherworldly. Like like no one has feet like that with big furry. Oh, I couldn't feet. do it. No feet. Like Elijah Woods, a step up from like Bone and Michael Sarah. Like that's what that is. <laughs> I guess you're. Oh right. my God! What is happening? <laughs> What is happening? Who looks? Do, do girls look at Michael Sarah and they're like, "Yeah, I want some of that." I guess the personality. I bone Michael like, Sarah. Who says that? <laughs> Don't they do that in the, the, in the trailer? Yeah, yeah the trailer. I'd, 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 I'd probably have sex with Michael Sarah. Well, I mean, that makes sense. You're He's a, a funny guy. Girls You're like funny guys. You're supposed to eat the cub. Uh, <laughs> He's like the hairless guy uh, that I want to like. On that note, my name's Philip Franco. Oh, Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. This is the weirdest fucking table talk <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Say, and we say that every time. That's true. We've said some messed up. I'm just true. picturing you holding a little hairless Michael Sarah. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, doing that to Michael Sarah? Oh, what is that? Eiffel Tower. I don't get it. That's in Paris. <laughs> is that where you had hard ons and you connect? <laughs> <laughs>